Uh, welcome to Yacht Miami 2017. We are between two Yetis and we're here with Mark Gadboy from Tradesman International. How Good you doing? Afternoon. I'm awesome. All right, we're not talking about our product, we're talking about Mark Gadboy and what you do, okay? All right. Uh, Mark, um, actually tell them what you do, Mark. Well, I, um, I work with Tradesman International. We provide skilled labor to shipyards and marine contractors. Ultimately, we're a staffing agency for shipbuilders all over the US. We work with everything from super yacht yards to uh, build aircraft carriers and nuclear submarines. Really? Um, yep, absolutely. So you're not specifically for the marine industry, you can be? Correct. We have uh, three different divisions. We have our major accounts division that works with oil and gas. Right. Uh, we also have our main division that works with commercial and residential and industrial companies. And then we have our marine division. Interesting. How is the oil and gas industry these days? Sh in shambles? It's not where it used to be. I'll sell you that right now. Fair Everybody enough. else is happy that they're not paying as much money for fuel, but everybody that builds offshore supply vessels or depends on oil and gas, their bank accounts aren't where they used to be. Interesting. And is that just because you don't drill for oil much here in the States, or is it the price has just gone down, it's not worth it much anymore? It's not worth what it was. The details, I'll say I'm not educated enough to talk about, but... Fair enough, yep. Ultimately, the companies that normally build, say, the offshore supply vessels, well, there's not enough oil to support anymore, so they can't build those ships. Fair enough. But what about like, the... Um, the the marine industry that we're here at the show now doing is that kind of rebounding for you now is that you're getting a lot more absolutely workers? I'll, I'll tell you some of the uh, yacht builders that a couple of years ago weren't as busy or were in fear of closing their doors are now kicking up uh, production aggressively um, I won't give any advertisement for them specifically but they went from zero people to almost 30 people there from our company in the last two months Jesus that's uh that's a huge uptick. Absolutely. There's a huge need for uh, high-end skilled yacht carpenters specifically. Um, so we identify them, we send them to their facility, and they work directly with us. Um, the guys are our employees, we're paying their payroll, handling their workman's comp, their longshore coverage, huh. and the client, they supervise them through the whole process. Wow, that's very, very cool. Just about the show real quick, what do you think of the new setup? I mean, you don't have a booth here, I know, but you're kind of walking it. What's the general feeling about the new setup? And I think it's great. The idea of having uh, charging people to get in finally, yep. I think it's going to keep some of the tire kickers out people that don't really need to be here, and uh, has a great flow to the show. I think it's excellent. We just did a video with Patty from Pier 1 Yacht Charter. She says she's not fighting over strollers and everything on the docks, which is, is nice, I mean, it's cut traffic down, but the consensus on the docks is it's actually been very positive. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. So, where are we gonna see you next, at Palm Beach? I will see you at Palm Beach. Excellent, we'll go sell some men, that's what you do. Absolutely. <laughs> we are Between Two Yetis, we'll see you next time.